The Virgin Islands National Park is an American national park preserving approximately 60% of the island of St. John in the United States Virgin Islands, over 5,500 acres of adjacent ocean, plus nearly all of Hassel Island, just off the Charlotte Amelie, St. Thomas Harbor. The park is well known for scuba diving and snorkeling, and has miles of hiking trails through the tropical rainforest. Cruise Bay is the gateway port to the park. Ferries operate hourly from Red Hook, St. Thomas, thrice daily from Charlotte Amelie, St. Thomas and West End, Tertola, twice daily from Joost van Dyke, and twice weekly from Virgin Gorda. The Virgin Islands National Park Visitor Center is located in Cruise Bay. The park received 304,408 visitors in 2017, and an average of over 432,000 visitors per year from 2008 to 2017. Park history In 1956, Lawrence Rockefeller's Jackson Hole Preserve donated its extensive lands on the island to the National Park Service, under the condition that the lands had to be protected from future development. The remaining portion, the Keneal Bay Resort, operates on a lease arrangement with the NPS, which owns the underlying land. The boundaries of the Virgin Islands National Park include 75% of the island, but various in holdings within the park boundary e.g., Peter Bay, Maho Bay reduce the park lands to 60% of the island acreage. Much of the island's waters, coral reefs, and shoreline have been protected by being included in the national park. This protection was expanded in 2001, when the Virgin Islands Coral Reef National Monument was created. In 2006, the Trust for Public Land purchased Estate Maho Bay a 415 acres property for preservation. The property includes beaches, undisturbed forest as well as historic Danish colonial and Taino Indian artifacts. The Trust intends to sell the property to the National Park Service as federal funds become available. In 2011, the Trust donated 18 acres at Mamie's Peak to the National Park Service. In 2012, the National Park Service purchased 58 acres from the Trust for $2.25 million, using money from the Federal Land and Water Conservation Fund. In 2013, an additional 72 acres of the estate Maho Bay property was sold to the National Park Service for $2.5 million, the largest addition to the park. Attractions. Beaches, coral reefs, hiking trails, and natural sites are the park's main attractions. The park is free to enter and the only fee is at Trunk Bay Beach, which charges admission for adults. Overnight and day-use mooring balls are available to boaters, for a mooring and anchoring fee. Visitors can stay in numerous resorts, hotels, and vacation villas near the park on St. John. Cinnamon Bay Campground is located inside the park, as is Keneal Bay Resort on the North Shore which lies on Rockefeller's former personal estate. Safari taxis are available in Cruise Bay and at the most popular national park beaches along the North Shore. Beaches <laughs> 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 The beaches of Virgin Islands National Park are regularly named some of the best in the world. The most popular beaches are Trunk Bay, Cinnamon Bay, Honeymoon Beach, Hawksnest Bay, Maho Bay, and Salt Pond Bay. Topic: <laughs> Trunk Bay. Trunk Bay is a body of water and the adjacent beach on St. John. The beach has consistently been voted one of the 10 best beaches in the world by Condé Nast Traveler magazine and has received similar recognition from other publications. Amenities include a snack bar, showers and restrooms, lifeguards, and an underwater trail for snorkeling its coral reef. The beach area is divided into two halves, the main Trunk Bay Beach and Swim Area, and Burgisman Cove which is located on the west end of Trunk Bay near Jumby Bay. Trunk Bay is the only national park beach on St. John which requires a fee to visit. Topic. Cinnamon Bay Cinnamon Bay Beach is a long, wide stretch of sand on the north shore of St. John. The beach is popular for sunbathing, snorkeling, and water sports. The New York Times named Cinnamon Bay one of the 
Six Caribbean Beaches to See Before You Die. The bay is also home to the Cinnamon Bay Campground, a restaurant, sundries shop, and water sports rental. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honeymoon Beach. Honeymoon Beach is on the north shore of St. John and can be accessed from Cruise Bay by hiking the one-mile-long Lind Point Trail or from Keneal Bay Resort. Condé Nast traveler named Honeymoon Beach one of the top 10 island beaches for unplugging. The beach features soft white sand under tall palm trees. Kayak, snorkel equipment, and beach chair rentals available. <laughs> Maho Bay. Maho Bay is known for its soft sand and calm, shallow waters. The sand and seagrass seafloor make it a good place to see sea turtles and stingrays. Harper's Bazaar named Maho Bay one of the best beaches in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Salt Pond Bay Located on St. John's South Shore, Salt Pond Bay is a protected bay and beach. The beach can be reached by hiking a short trail from Route 107, about 4 miles south of Coral Bay. The bay is a popular snorkeling spot and has fringing reefs on both sides of the bay, sea grass in the center, and a deep coral reef far out in the middle of the bay. Overnight and day-use mooring balls are available for boaters. From Salt Pond Bay, hikers can access Drunk Bay and Ram Head Trail. USA Today called Salt Pond Bay one of the best in the Virgin Islands. Topic. Hiking The Cinnamon Bay Nature Trail passes sugar plantation ruins, while the Bordeaux Mountain Trail leads to the highest point on the island at 1,277 feet meters above sea level. Topic. Reef Bay Trail The Reef Bay Trail offers views of forests, remnants of sugar mills, historical Taino petroglyph rock carvings, a spring-fed waterfall and reflection pool, as well as snorkeling over the coral reef at Jenny Bay. The hike is strenuous and the round trip from Centerline Road is over six miles. The National Park offers a ranger-guided hike that includes a boat ride back to Cruise Bay from Reef Bay. Bordeaux Mountain Trail The Bordeaux Mountain Trail is a steep and rocky path leading from Little Lamisher Bay to the highest point of the island. The trail is unmaintained and although there are several overlooks along the way, there is no view from the top of this densely forested mountain. The trail gains almost 1,300 feet of elevation in about one mile. Lind Point Trail The one-mile-long Lind Point Trail begins in Cruise Bay, behind the Virgin Islands National Park Visitor Center. The trail leads up to Lind Point, overlooking Cruise Bay Harbor, before continuing on to Honeymoon Beach. <laughs> Keneal Hill Trail Starting in Cruise Bay, just north of Mongoose Junction, the Keneal Hill Trail leads up a steep incline to the top of Keneal Hill. There is a wooden observation platform at the top with views of St. John, St. Thomas, Joost van Dijk, and many smaller islands. On a clear day, it's possible to see St. Croix and even Puerto Rico. Ram Head Trail Beginning at Salt Pond Bay, the Ram Head Trail travels about one mile down a dry and rocky peninsula to the southernmost point on St. John. Topic: <laughs> Cinnamon Bay Nature Trail and Accessible Boardwalk. Across from the entrance to Cinnamon Bay Campground, the Cinnamon Bay Nature Trail is a half-mile loop winding through the ruins of a sugar factory. Signs along the path explain the history of the area. The trail is a mixture of boardwalks and paved paths with no steep hills. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historic sites. 
The park protects dozens of historic ruins from the colonial and plantation eras through the 1950s. Annaberg Historic District The Annaberg Plantation is a partially restored sugar factory and windmill located just east of Marys Point. National Park signage guides visitors through the ruins and explains the process of turning sugar cane into molasses. Volunteers and park rangers are frequently in the area to answer questions. The bakehouse hosts cooking demonstrations and offers samples of dumb bread. The windmill is located on Annaberg Point, which offers views of Tertola, Great Thatch Island, and the Narrows. <laughs> Reef Bay Sugar Factory Historic District The ruins of the Reef Bay Sugar Factory can be reached via Reef Bay Trail or L'Esperance Trail. <laughs> Petroglyph Site. The Reef Bay Trail petroglyphs are Taino rock carvings located on rock pools near a waterfall. They can be reached via a quarter-mile long spur trail from Reef Bay Trail. The petroglyph site was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1982. <laughs> Katharineberg Sugar Mill Ruins The well-preserved ruins of the Katharineberg Sugar Mill are among the most easily accessed in the park, and include a windmill tower and a horse mill. Geography Virgin Islands National Park is spread out on 14,737 acres 5 hectares of land. The park covers almost 60% of St. John Island, adjacent ocean, and almost all of Hassel Island. The main features are coral reefs, which almost completely surround the park, and the ocean waters, tropical forests and beaches. Wild donkeys, deer, mongoose, pigs, goats, birds, iguanas, skinks, tortoises, frogs, and crabs inhabit the park. Bats are the only native land mammal in the park. Topic. Climate Virgin Islands National Park has a tropical savanna climate. The average rainfall per year is 55 inches In the winter, trade winds blow from 11 knots 20 km per hour to 21 knots 39 km per hour. The average temperature for the park is 79 degrees Fahrenheit 26 degrees Celsius. The park experiences very little temperature variation between summer and winter, while the sea is warm year-round. The main tourist season is from December to April, which are the driest months. During the remaining months i.e., the Atlantic hurricane season, prices for accommodations are reduced considerably. Camping and rustic lodging are available in the park from November through August at Cinnamon Bay Campground. Keneal Bay Resort provides luxury accommodations along with upscale dining in the park from November through July. <inaudible> Geology Located at the east end of the Greater Antilles, St. John resides on the northeastern end of the Caribbean Plate. The island formed during the Cretaceous with the eruption of the Water Island Formation, consisting of caratifiers and pillow basalts. Igneous activity then changed to that of an island arc, characterized by the Louisenhoi Formation, consisting of andesite and basalt. Volcanism abated during the deposition of the outer brass limestone. Volcanism resumed as evidenced by the late Cretaceous Tutu Formation, consisting of volcanoclastic turbidites, basalt, and andesite. A diabase dike swarm followed and then compressive folding attributed to the Caribbean plate colliding with the Bahama platform. The late Eocene saw the intrusion of Narrows Pluton and Virgin Gorda Batholith, associated with the Greater Antilles Arc Magmatism, and more compressive folding associated with the spreading of the Cayman Trough. This spreading is also tied to sinistral strike slip faulting at 39 Ma. <laughs> <laughs> 